Hello everybody, Adam here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the recent reveals of the Star Wars Rebel toys. For those who don't know, Star Wars Rebels is going to be the uh, new animated series that will be airing this fall on Disney and Disney XD. Uh, this sort of follows up the Clone Wars, takes place between episodes 3 and 4, and will specifically follow... Uh, a series of characters designed to hunt the Jedi and uh, the birth of the Rebellion, etc., etc. So, let's get to it. First up here we got Ezra, I believe. Uh, these are the three and a quarter inch action figures. These are going to be priced at the $5.99 range. You'll notice these don't have the extensive articulation that the... Um, more expensive $10 figures have that are aimed more at collectors. These are clearly aimed at the kids, but they look fantastic here. So these will be five points of articulation, uh, maintaining sort of the aesthetic of the cartoon. So um, also shown here is Kanan, who is apparently going to be the main character, a Jedi on the run. Um, great character designs. I, I You know, if you haven't had a chance to check out the um, shorts that StarWars.com has been releasing, uh, previewing Rebels. You should really check it out. Uh, the Inquisitor. Apparently this is a, a, I mean a villain, tasked by Darth Vader with helping hunt the Jedi down. Um, real quick here, there's a lot of hemming and hawing over that lightsaber blade. A few years back there was a uh, General Grievous roleplay toy that was meant to simulate the whirling uh, action of him holding four lightsabers. And it was basically a double-bladed saber like that, that you held the handle in the middle, and then you spun it around. Uh, it was pretty ridiculous, pretty silly toy. Everybody thought they were repurposing that. Turns out that is actually a proper double-ended lightsaber. That, um, that disc there is a launching element to it that apparently comes up in the show. So... Not quite what we had originally thought it was. Also, a uh, gentleman named Kalis. Don't quite know what his story is, but he looks imperial of some sort. Um, looks cool, that's for sure. Uh, the uh, animated style Stormtrooper. I don't know if I'm really crazy about that face mask, but I'm sure it'll look better in the cartoon. And, of course, Chopper. He was sort of the first reveal from Rebels. Sort of a, uh, you know, our astromech that will be joining the heroes in this adventure. And next up, we've got some vehicles to go with those three and a quarter, three and three fourth scale figures. Uh, we got some vehicles. All right, and we got some vehicles to go with those figures. Uh, only a couple showing off here, but some, some interesting looksies here. This is the Phantom Six. Uh, looks like it's a one-man fighter. Uh, in the footage we're seeing being released by, uh, at StarWars.com, it does look like they're flying around in a freighter of some sort, sort of a variation of the YT series. Uh, so I believe this is a fighter that docks with that or is stored in that. Um, not entirely sure, obviously, since we haven't seen the show and they're not giving away everything. Also, we've got an early ATST, the ATDP, uh, clearly sort of a step in between the uh, the walker they used in uh, Revenge of the Sith and the two-legged walker they're going to end up using in the later films. So uh, I really like that. It looks good. I like the aesthetic. And finally, the Inquisitor's TIE Fighter. Real interesting here. Obviously very similar to Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Um, except the wings are curved, and if you look real carefully, you'll see there are spring hinges on the wings, obviously sort of carrying the motif of Darth Maul's interceptor um, from the first movie. I like it. It looks good. Uh, very, very cool. Next up, we've got some 12-inch uh, figures. You may have noticed last year, right before the holidays, there was a Darth Vader and Anakin Skywalker kicking around in a 12-inch scale. Simplified articulation, clearly aimed at kids at the nine ninety nine price point. These continue that um, by basically uh, with with rebel characters. So it looks like we've got the Inquisitor. Looks really decked out with accessories. Some it looks like some sort of, you know, if I may make an observation, 
this villain here almost looks like they were like, okay, who's the coolest villain in the, in the, in let's combine Darth Vader and Boba Fett and we'll make a villain. You know, he's got the rocket firing backpack. He's got a lightsaber. He's got the cool slick helmet on. Ah, who knows? But I'm sure it will be very, very cool in the show, but you know, it does look a little bit like that. Also a uh, 12 inch series Ezra. Looks good. I'm pretty impressed with that. And let's see what else. Uh, we've also got our main hero, Kanan. Looks like he's got some sort of backpack with wings that flip out, mask, lightsaber. And this guy, Kalis. Agent Kalis is actually what they're calling him here. Um, yeah, don't know what to make of that, but looks good. Cool. But they're not stopping at the single figure releases. They're also going to be giving us uh, mission packs. These are two packs with you know two characters, obviously. Uh, here we got R2 and C they're calling these mission series to be exact. R2 and C3PO. Um, obviously, these guys will be making an appearance in the Clone Wars. I presume so, at least. Um, looks good um just checking to see if there's a price here so the 12 inch hero mission series figures will be 14.99 so individually these guys are going you know the 12 inch figures are 9.99 if you buy the two packs they're 14.99 so that's not bad also let's face it r2 is half a figure also uh zeb the uh the villain I think he's a bounty hunter. Don't know for sure. Purely a guess. Don't hold me to it. And he's in compact with a stormtrooper. So there you go. And finally, we got some role play accessories. There was a bunch of stuff in the press release. They're going to be doing, you know, lightsabers and, you know, all of that stuff. But they didn't give us any press images for that. So here we have our Rebels Blaster. Um, I don't know about you guys, but anyone who remembers the original toys back in the 70s, I know I sound like an old guy. I really miss realistic looking toy weapons. <laughs> the stay glow stuff is just not my thing, but you know. Also the Inquisitor's lightsaber. Now when we had originally seen this, there was a lot of speculation that this was the Grievous toy repurposed. Now for those who don't know, they had you know to simulate the whirlwind effect of him whipping around four lightsabers at the same time. They created it where you held that handle in the middle and the whole rest of the unit just spun. Basically, you would just sit there and whip your arm, and it would make the blade spin around. And that's what everybody kind of thought this was. Turns out, not the case at all. It is a proper double-ended staff lightsaber. That round part in the middle is almost a Tron disc. Um, apparently, it is either comes off or half of it launches off. I'm not sure exactly which, but it does look kind of cool. Yeah, there you go. So... Um, not as goofy as people had originally thought, so that's not bad. I must say I'm going to be very anxious to see this villain and his weapons in the show. So there you go, back to the blaster. I uh, think that's going to do it for these reveals. What do you think? Are you excited about Star Wars Rebels? I've kind of gotten, I went from, yeah, looking forward to it to kind of over-the-top excited, especially with a lot of the um, uh, the, the video clips StarWars.com has been releasing. Um I may not deep dive on the toys, but I may pick up a couple. It looks cool. Um, but let us know in the comments. Are you looking forward to Rebels? Are you going to be picking up the toys? Are you going to be watching the show? I'd love to hear what you think. Bye.